hello everyone so this is next video on sequence and series and today i'm going to explain p series test so what is p series test this test says that let's suppose you are having a series of the form 1 over n to the power p where n is varying from 1 to infinity that means your series is 1 upon 1 to the power p plus 1 over 2 to the power p plus 1 over 3 to the power p and so on so this p series test says that this series is convergent if the mod uh, if the value of p is greater than 1 and divergent if p is less than equals to 1 so this is p series test which is used to check the behavior of the series of the form 1 over n to the power p this test says that the series of this form is convergent if p is strictly greater than 1 and divergent if p is less than equals to 1 now just see the proof of this how to prove this let's suppose the value of p is greater than 1 so whenever your p is strictly greater than 1 the series 1 over n to the power p this is behaving like a function where your f is positive for all n varying from 1 to 3 and so on secondly your f is decreasing now why it is decreasing but when you find out its derivative this will be n to the power minus p minus 1 into minus of p which is minus p upon n to the power p plus 1 since this is positive but this is always negative your b is strictly greater than 1 so we have this is less than 0 so this is implies your function is decreasing and since derivative exist and we know that every differentiable function is continuous so this function is continuous also so all the three conditions of integral test are satisfied so therefore we can apply integral test and we can check the behavior of the series 1 over n to the power p for p greater than 1 now just see by integral test the integral of 1 over n to the power p where p varying from 1 to infinity this will be n to the power minus p plus 1 over minus p plus 1 now when you put p uh, n to be infinity right when you put n to be infinity now just see p is strictly greater than 1 it means it means 1 minus p you can take this p to be this side 1 minus p is negative so if your 1 minus p is negative it means this term is in the denominator it is actually in this form it is 1 minus p so when you take so this is p minus 1 now this is positive also you have the term minus p plus 1 and now you substitute the limits when you put infinity you will have 1 over infinity 0 and when you put n to be 1 you will have it is some finite number so after putting infinity this limit is 0 and then some finite number 
which is 1 right so this is basically this since it is finite ye finite aa raha hai paas so by using integral test whenever the value of integral is finite it implies that your series is convergent for p greater than 1 now case 2 when your p is strictly less than 0 then what is the series 1 over n to the power p since your p is negative it means the terms are in numerator let's suppose p is minus m where m is positive integer so you can write m square so this will become 1 over uh, sorry n to the power m square right and so this is a series 1 to the power m square plus 2 to the power m square and so on plus n to the power m square and so on so whenever your p is negative you are having a series of this form now you can apply the nth term divergent test when you find out the limit of the nth term since this is positive so when you put n tending to infinity you will have this is infinity so by nth term divergent is since the limit of the nth term is infinite so this implies that your series is divergent for all p less than 0 so for p greater than 1 it is convergent and for all p less than 0 it is divergent now the case left whenever your p is greater than equals to 0 and less than equals to 1 now just see when your p is 0 series become 1 again it is divergent again you can apply the nth term divergent test which is 1 which is not 0 so by nth term divergent test the given series 1 over n to the power p is divergent for p equals to 0 S same way if your p is strictly greater than 0 and less than equals to 1 in that case In that case, you are having a series of this form. Again, you can write the terms as Fn, where your F is positive, continuous and decreasing. You can check with the help of its derivative. This will be minus p into n to the power minus p minus 1 now since again this is negative for every p strictly greater than 0 right so this implies your function is decreasing and every differentiable function is continuous which implies that this is continuous also so we can find out the value of integral of such type of function and we can check the behavior of the series so now just see what will be the value of integral it will be n to the power minus p plus 1 upon minus p plus 1 the limits are going from 1 to infinity now here the p is strictly greater than 0 and less than 1 we cannot take p to be exactly 1 because in that case this will be 0 right so we take p to be lying between 0 and 1 so for these values of p the terms of n are remains in numerator when you put infinity you will have this is 
infinity since your p is less than 1 it means 1 minus p is greater than 0 right so it means n to the power 1 minus p is a positive term so it remains in the numerator when you put n tending to infinity you will have this is infinity and when you put n to be 1 it's some finite number so infinity minus some finite number again it is infinity now since the value of integral is infinite so this implies that your series 1 over n to the power p this is divergent for all p lying between 0 and 1 now the only one case left when p is exactly 1 when your p is exactly 1 again your series can terms can be written as function where function is positive continuous and decreasing so you can find out the value of integral this is log n and when you put the limit again it is infinity so again this implies that the series 1 over n this is divergent so now you club all the points whenever your p is 1 whenever your p is lying between 0 and 1 whenever your p is less than 0 in each case it is less than 0 in each case your series is divergent it is convergent only in the case when your p is strictly greater than 1 and this thing we have to prove that p series test says that you are having a series of this form then this series is convergent only when p is strictly greater than 1 otherwise it is divergent right so for p greater than 1 by integral test we have this is finite value so this is convergent however for rest all the cases by nth term divergent test or by integral test we have the value of integral is infinite or nth term is not going to zero so in each case we will have that our series is divergent now apply this test to check the behavior of the following series so let's suppose we need to check the behavior of the series 1 over n to the power 3 by 2 now is it convergent or not now just see what is the value of p over here it's 3 by 2 which is strictly greater than 1 so by p series test the given series is convergent right because p series test says that any series of the form 1 over n to the power p this is convergent if your p is strictly greater than 1 and divergent if your p is less than equal to 1 so in this case your p it is strictly greater than 1 so for p strictly greater than 1 your series is convergent now just see one more example let's suppose you have to check the behavior of the series 1 over square root of n now if you compare with p series if you compare with n to the power p what is the value of p it is 1 over by 2 which is strictly less than 1 so by p series test what is the behavior of this series this series is divergent why this is divergent because whenever p is strictly less is less than equal to 1 this type of series is divergent so by p series test since p is half which is strictly less than 1 so the given series is divergent by p series test so in this way we can apply p series to check the behavior of the series of the form 1 over n to the power p